So how did you actually end up getting into the adult industry? Okay. So when I first started in the industry, I thought like, I'm just going to do girl, girl. Well, you're coming in as a MILF doing girl, girl. It's just not going to fly. There's only so many scenes that you can do. So I first filmed with Brazzers and I had probably the, I got along with him fine, but he's, he was known for being one of the most difficult directors in the industry. So oh, wow. I was like, this guy's not very nice to staff. Like, you know, the camera guy, he was very condescending. Uh, it just, it was a very uncomfortable time on set. And I'm nervous as hell because right. it's my first time. I'm literally shaking. I have dialogue. That's even worse. However, uh, Eva Carrera was the girl I was working with. And she, I, I want to say she's from, she's from Europe uh, and she's tough. I mean, she was essentially, it was a hot and mean scene. So she was, you know, going to rough me up a little bit. And God, that was your first scene? It sure was. Wow. Yeah. They're not making yeah. you an easy. No, hot and mean. So once the camera started rolling, I mean, I just, I kind of got into, I really didn't know what to do. I mean, I had a little direction, but I was so nervous because the director was so abrasive. Um, uh, for a lack of better words. And I was just so nervous, like he was going to yell at me or something. And, and he didn't. We ended up talking about shoes. And I mean, he was really nice and we got along great. However, I felt like he just yeah. beat them up, you know, but whatever. Uh, so it went well, though. I mean, it was, you know, a girl, girl. She was kind of roughing me up on the bed and commanding me to do all these things. And I can be quite submissive. Uh, just depends on my who I'm in the, you know, the room with or who I'm in the scene with. So I was totally fine with taking commands from her. She definitely, she did play the, the role well. It was very natural. She'd been doing it for a while. And I had a lot of fun with it. I was just like, okay, what do I do now? Like, I, I don't know. So they, uh, after the scene, we kind of talked and we said, you know, she should probably get an agent or whatever, if it's something you want to do. And yeah, and that, that was, I mean, I didn't give too much detail, but but it was fun. I had fun with it. And yeah, so it felt like something that you wanted to do again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe not so much the hot and mean because I'm not really into pain. Um, it's just not my thing. I don't really even like to be slapped around too much. I think it's like a gentle, like a love, but I'm not into, you know, oh yeah, beat me up or like, I want to have marks. No, that's not, you know, for me, that's not passion. That's not sex. That's not, it's not fun. Like I'm not getting my ass beat. Like, no. You know, yeah. so, um, but yeah, I don't think I did too many of those scenes. I mean, but it was fun. It was cool. It was something different. I felt comfortable. I'm fine being naked in front of people. I mean, I walk around my house and naked and, you know, whatever. And if people see me, they shouldn't be looking in my, you know, through my catwalk. Like, no, just whatever. I, you know, I'm free. This is my house. And you know, yeah. So. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.